Sorry, so I got a whisper. We're dealing with the fractions. We're going to start on number three. On number three. Well, let me give me a zoom job here. Zooming in. All right, number three. Reduce your fraction. Come on now. So we really have the square root of one half. And remember when um, you have a radical fraction, just make it a radical over a radical. And I notice right away that the square root of 1 is 1. Be on the lookout for perfect squares. And then remember, when you have a radical in the denominator, the how we fix it is multiply the top and bottom by the radical. And here's what happens. This is why we do it. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is just 2. 1 times the square root of 2 is square root of 2. I can't reduce that any further because one's a radical, one's not. Moving on. Number 4. Use fraction. 3 over 2. And then um, a radical over a radical. This is kind of your first steps. Whenever you see a fraction, make it into a radical over radical. And then your problem is, oh, you can't have a denominator in the radical because the math club says so. So multiply top and bottom times the square root of 2. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is just 2. Square root of 3 times square root of 2 is square root of 6. I'm done. Um, let's go down to number 9. Now here, there's, there's different ways to go about this, but what I would recommend doing is um, multiply your fraction, so 2 times, because it's, it's still multiplication, you're still multiplying, so just multiply straight across when you multiply fractions. 30 and 5 times 18 is 90. Oh, I don't want to deal with that big a number, so I'm going to reduce. 30 goes into 93 times, this fraction is 1 -third. So I'm dealing with the square root of 1 -third. Again, just like we did above, make it radical over radical. Look for any perfect squares. Ooh, got one. Square root of 1 is just 1. Oh, crap. Square root of 1 is just 1. It's still over the square root of 3, and that is a problem. So you multiply top and bottom by square root of 3. And you get square root of 3 on top. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is just 3 on the bottom. Number 10. Eh, no, let's skip 10. Let's go to the other fraction one. We are multiplying. When you multiply fractions, you just go straight across. Something that I didn't do last problem that I could have, but it's not a necessary thing. I see that 2 and 8 could get reduced to 1 and 4. It's called cross-canceling, but if you didn't catch that, that's fine too. But you multiply, okay, 1 times 3 is 3, 7 times 4 is 28, and I'm going to turn, I'm going to go down to the next line, make it a radical over a radical. And then, let's see here, I can't have radical 28, that's a problem. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom times that. So I'm multiplying top and bottom. Uh, it looks like the bottom is just going to be 28. And the top is going to be square root of, okay, 3 times 28. 28 times 3. Um, 28 times 3. Don't have a calculator handy. It's all good. Times 3 is 24 get 84. So I have the square root of 84 over 28. Now you might be thinking, oh, I'm done, yay. Okay, but i got to reduce and simplify at the end of these things. So the square root of 84, um, the biggest square root that goes into it is 4. So I get uh, 2 square root of 21. So really what I'm dealing with is 2 square root of 21 on top and 28 on bottom. Reduce your fractions. 
You know that. This is really 1 over 14, and then I still have square root of 21. Got him.